In Angelina Jolie's movie, Unbroken, you have seen most of the amazing true survival story of the Olympic runner Louis Zamperini, but not all of it. In World War II, Louis's bomber crashed into the sea. For 47 days in a life draft, he was attacked by sharks, machine gunned by enemy aircraft, and battered by storms, only to be tragically captured by the Japanese. In captivity, he was beaten by a mean-spirited prison guard nicknamed The Bird. Louis endured this terrible treatment for two years and finally made it home. This is most of the story, but not all. At home was where one of his greatest trials began. This is the incredible, untold, true ending to the movie Unbroken, as told in the biography by Laura Hildebrand. After the war and captivity, Louis returned home to the loving arms of his family. He met, fell in love, and married Cynthia Applewhite, and they settled in Los Angeles. Louis's life was looking good. However, the beatings and the torment at the hands of the bird haunted Louis day and night. Louis would have flashbacks, daylight dreams, as real as if he were back reliving those terrible times. Louis struggled to deal with this ongoing torment and soon turned to alcohol to chase the pain away. Before long, Louis had unraveled, embrawled, and fought with anyone who would cross him. Sadly, his relationship with the newly pregnant Cynthia was on rocky ground, and Cynthia, after enduring for so long, headed home to her parents. Like many other Pacific prisoners of war, Louis had survived the war, but was not surviving his life. Louis was alone and without hope. He was at rock bottom. Cynthia came back to Los Angeles one last time to say goodbye to Louis. At the same time, a visiting Christian speaker called Billy Graham was holding large tent meetings in downtown LA. Tens of thousands of people were attending. Cynthia's friends invited her to come, and Cynthia came away deeply impacted. After much urging, Cynthia convinced Louis to join her at the next large tent meeting. Louis grudgingly agreed and went along. That night at the tent, Billy Graham spoke about how despite the world being a dark and evil place, that God's love was there. How God cared about each and every person, and that if you endure and persevere, that God will give you the grace to go on. Louis was sweating hard, feeling trapped and uncomfortable. Graham asked for every eye to be closed and head bowed, a time to believe in and follow Jesus. Enough was enough. Louis stood abruptly, grabbing Cynthia's hand, and made down the row for the exit. He felt enraged, cornered, ready to explode. But when they reached the side of the tent, Louis froze. He was in the middle of another flashback, one of his daylight dreams. Louis was back in World War II, lying on the raft in the middle of the Pacific Ocean with his dying friends. The raft and the sea were still a beautiful moment. Louis had looked around at the wonder and the beauty of all he saw and had decided it must be the product of a loving God. He remembered the words that he had spoken to God in this moment. If you will save me, I will serve you forever. A promise long forgotten. At that moment, back in the tent, Louis felt something like rain washing over him, freeing and cleansing him. It was to be the last flashback he would ever have. Letting go of Cynthia, Louis turned and walked towards Graham at the front of the tent to meet with God, feeling alive. Louis and Cynthia went home. Louis poured out all of his alcohol and discarded all remnants of a ruined life. It was time for a fresh start. Waking up the next morning, for the first time in five years, the bird had not entered his dreams. Louis had found peace. Louis did return to Japan, forgiving his captors, and amongst many other exploits, he spent the remainder of his life keeping his promise to God, helping people and spreading the message of a loving God whose heart for people is to be set free. If you save me, I will serve you forever.
Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me. I want to live for you. Come into my heart and fill my life. Lead me and guide me and make me new.